here and I don't want him to follow me. I walked back towards my house to the corner and I stayed there. And he bolted, like he went in the opposite direction. That's so sad. I, I know, that's why I don't understand why you're smiling. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ray Love and I'm back with another mukbang edition. I'm back with Melissa. Hi guys. And today we have a soul food. Yes. Let's say a prayer so it's we can so start eating. Right. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this food placed before me. In Jesus' name always, amen. Amen. Listen y'all, if you are watching me and you continuously watch my videos or you just stumbled upon this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell so you know every time I go live, drop a video or drop a short, okay? Make sure you're following the entire gang. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Hello. Mm -hmm. And make sure you follow me on TikTok. All right, today we having leftovers. So I got some sausage stuffing here. Some people call it dressing. Oh yeah, you told me Crazy that. to me. But anyway, I got some stuff in here. I got some baked rotisserie chicken. I got some collard greens. Y'all already know how I do with my collard greens. And I have some uh, steak and potatoes, a little bit of steak and potatoes back here that I made for our children that didn't eat it. They're and lost. here I got a little bit of cut up smoked pork chop. Mm. That's what we eat. And um, Melissa's not eating the smoked pork chop. She had enough of it. I had a lot. And I love um, it. It's like one of my favorite. You don't got no collard greens. greens. No, no, I don't have no neck bone either. I didn't make this stuff. I didn't make the smoke um, pull chop. Mm. I got this from her mom. Mm -hmm. So, um, Campbell, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes you get annoying. And you shut the up. Yeah, so I got some cornbread, sausage stuffing. Y'all, it's really simple to make. I love the stuffing. I know somebody's going to say, did you put a recipe up? I know it. But I really was just cooking that day. Stuffing is so good. Stuffing is always good. Ugh. Got some cornbread, sauces, bell pepper, red, and green, onion. I mean, it just don't get no better. I love stuffing. I can have it any time of the year. My favorite food is Thanksgiving food. Yeah. Hands down. It's soul food. That's my favorite kind of food. All different types. So give me some beans, a pot of beans. Mm -hmm. Give me some collard greens any day. Fried chicken, baked chicken, fricassee mm -hmm. chicken. If, if it comes from hands that look like mine, I want to eat it. Seriously, it's always my favorite. But we're hungry. Very. We're hungry. I made Melissa wait because I wanted to um, film. So I, had a I don't know what yogurt. time it was. I don't even know what time it is right now. Oh, I don't know. I didn't check. I barely slept last night, and then I woke up with the worst allergies ever. Mm -mm. My nose attacked me at 7.30 this morning. I got some water and also got 100% cranberry juice. I have water too. No sugar added basically. It's just, um, it's whatever sugar is actually in cranberry, it's own sugar. So, I thought it would be a good idea for Melissa to tell her story about when she got robbed. When I was a teenager. Now, the funny part is, you know you're from New York when I say, oh, you should tell the story when you got robbed, and she say, which time? <laughs> I did. I was like, what? Which one? I did. But we're going to keep it the one when she was a teenager. I know the story, but I thought y'all could hear the story. Yeah, because the other ones are a bit much. A bit much, right. You know, I got robbed before too, right? Mm-hmm. With my cousin. Mm hmm Traumatized me for life. All right, so Melissa's going to tell her story about... I think you should first start and say, like, how old you were. I was, like, 15, 16. I was um, on my way to high school. So I was leaving... <gasps> Bitch! <laughs> I was leaving my house. It was in the morning. And I'd, at this time, I had a book bag. I don't know if you're from New York City, remember these? these it wasn't a robo bag. It was the polo bags that went on your side. It was like a side strap. Oh, I remember like those. Flap. I remember those. Yep. I had a navy blue one and I had a black one. I was wearing like my navy blue one, I think, that day. I don't know. I think I had one that was see-through. You did. You did. Um, and I'm walking. I used to live in Bushwick at this time. I'm walking up. Did I walk up? No, I walked up my... <laughs> I believe you walked up the block. I walked up my block, yeah. 
I hit the corner underneath the train station and there was a guy. Mind you, it was warm and he had on a, I, he had on a jacket. I can't remember what kind of jacket it was. He had his hand in his pocket and he was like, I, give me all your money. <laughs> <laughs> and give me your jewelry. So I immediately gave him all my- That's crazy. Do you think he really had a weapon? I wasn't sure, but my parents had always told me like, don't try right, to find right. out. Like, so it's just, just the fact that he didn't show it. Yeah, he didn't, and I that, was like, mm. you know. but he's he was a big guy, so I was like, even if he doesn't do that, he can still hurt me. So oh, he was big. He was taller. He was like, well, I'm, I'm, wow. I was I was 15, so obviously I'm actually shorter then than I was now. Yeah, I think she was about four six. Right? No, fuck. <laughs> you tried. Okay, I'm sorry. Like four eleven. Excuse me. <laughs> So I had it's terrible. like 15, 20 dollars on me, like for lunch. And I showed him, are you all right? <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. I, I'm just listening to I was so scared that I didn't think. And I remember when I first told you this, you were like, what? Right. And I showed him my arms and I was like, he said, give me your jewelry. And I said, which one? Because I had more than one bracelet on. So I didn't get to choose. Um, not all of them. Because I didn't one. know. I didn't, I didn't have That's my. That's funny. I didn't have my nameplate on, thank God. That's not how I, uh, my, my nameplate. You did. You had a good nameplate. You had I really did. Yes. It was double plated and everything. Um, I didn't have that on. I had on a bracelet that uh, my boyfriend at this time had given me, a Mickey Mouse bracelet. I had on my name ID. If back in the day, if you remember the name IDs, are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just feel bad. Oh, but then why are you smiling? I'm not smiling, smile. I'm just listening. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had the bracelet that... This is an interesting story. Is this bitch for real right now? He took the bracelet that my parents gave me on 215. He took my nameplate. He took my earrings. Um, she didn't have a lot of jewelry. I didn't know what to do um, because now I don't want to walk the way I was walking because he's there and I don't want him to follow me. I walked back towards my house to the corner and I stayed there. And he bolted. Like he went in the opposite direction. That's so sad. I, I know. That's why I don't understand why you're fucking smiling. <laughs> I'm not smiling at you. I'm listening. And that's my listening face. Like, I'm intense. Your I'm listening just... face. You have a resting bitch face? I have a <laughs> listening face. <laughs> <laughs> and do. <laughs> so, and do. So I stood there till I couldn't see him around anymore. And then I came back in the house and my dad was like, what happened? And I said nothing. And I came in, my mom said what happened. And I said, I forgot my money for lunch. Or I forgot a book, I lied. I didn't want to tell them because my father is very protective. <laughs> and my father- He's a real Dominican man. Yeah, and he has a real <laughs> Dominican, Dominican temper. <laughs> and Dominican weapon uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> at the time. <laughs> and I didn't want him to run out and try to look for the man. So I didn't say anything. I got on the train, I got to school. Told my friends about it and they were like, you should speak to the guidance counselor. I was like, no, I'm fine. They finally made me about 10 o'clock in the morning. That was good advice. And um, I broke down really I advice. broke down crying in the guidance counselor's office. She called my mom. She asked me if she wanted me to come get they like come get me from school. And I said, no, I finished a day. You did? Yeah, I did. Um, Cause I, I don't wanna do all that. <laughs> you know, I don't wanna do all that. And I, it, I like- I would've I, had to go. I liked having the distraction. I liked being able to be with my friends. Yeah. I know if I went home, my mom, I love her. My mom is just very loving. She would've been like, oh, like, are you okay? Are you okay? And that would've made me cry more. I didn't wanna do that. Oh. The smiling is freaking me out. <laughs> mom is really sweet. My mom is very sweet. My mom is like so awesome. Yes. And funny. She's a Gemini. What do you want from her? Yes. <laughs> She's amazing. So I'm just smiling at the fact that I know that she was not playing. Would have cared for you. Yeah. Um, when I got home, my dad had a lot of questions. And he was also just very genuinely upset because he felt like, mm. you know, he didn't protect me. And I'm like, you weren't even there. Right. Because <laughs> yeah. you want some shampoo. That's an inside <laughs> joke. Y'all ain't got to worry about what it means. But trust me, he would have protected her. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what happened. Um, I got um for a while afterward. I did not go to the train station by me. I couldn't. Um, I would ha like get panicky. 
So my parents drove me to either the one further down by one of my friends from high school or by their job and I took the train from Murano's. If you don't cut it the <laughs> fuck out. <laughs> Damn! You look like a fucking psychopath. You look like... <laughs> you look like... What is wrong with Ooh, you? I had no plans of doing anything to you today, but... And it's this eerie grin, like what the it's it's a, um, it was a trend going around and decided to do it. It's like smiling at somebody mad uncomfortably like while they're talking. Like, do you see yourself? <laughs> no, but I will when I edit it, but I'm not going to do it no more. Do y'all see this? I keep turning and I keep seeing it from my peripheral. I see his teeth. And like, then I'm actually feeling bad. Like, I that's what's going on me. You're like, oh, oh, that sounds bad. Like, <laughs> It's going on. <laughs> I do it for y'all, but I did want you to tell that story. Yeah, so for you got it, through it too. I wanted, I did, I tried. Um, mm -hmm. it took about six months for me to take the train back from my house, and even then, my parents insisted on dropping me off. Wow, I'm full. I can't eat no more. I was too busy telling the story and ignoring your smiling ass face. <laughs> that was funny to me. I took me everything not to like because I'm like burning into your soul. I know. I'm poor Melissa. Oh, damn. Well now, life has changed and ain't nobody it, so don't even think about it. Anything you see on me, I bought from like Amazon or Alex and Amy, something Right, cheap. we don't do the th those things no more. Because cause what's the sense if somebody's going to try to take it off for you? And do you know, know the price of gold right now? That shit is expensive. It is. It is. But that's, what I, that's how I feel. Like, not, nobody's even walking around like that. No. Right now, so. No. To be very honest, nobody in our hood walking around with mad, no. you know. And people wear fake shit that looks like real shit, so if it's stolen, it don't matter. Right, on purpose, because mm -hmm. what's the sense if people want to take it from you? I always thought, like, people still was so damn corny, because yeah, you didn't buy it, and <laughs> what is the point? And I know they, they be pawning stuff, Yeah, but sometimes people who do that, they not even crackheads. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They just want a quick buck, and I'm like, come on. Yeah, no. Still is my jewelry off of them. That's so bad. Especially as a little girl. That's why. And I know I look scared because I was. Oh. Well, if you out there, bro, I show ass on sight. You stupid. <laughs> if you're not in jail now, God bless. Probably is, but those things do traumatize you. Because you know me, like. There's been things that's happened. I don't want to go outside to certain places or mm -hmm. walk by certain places because it traumatizes you. Your brain, it's a natural reaction for your brain to remember the trauma and, and react yeah. in, your, in, your, you know, in your mind. So I can understand you not want to go to that train station. Isn't it funny mm -hmm. how our brains, though, help us? Like, I, I'll go to this one that's three blocks down, but not this one. Mm -hmm. when the, when, is the next stop? I know. Like, he could be on the train, but... Mm -hmm. Right, but it makes you feel better. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Anyway, I'm done eating. Mm. I love, love, love y'all. And until we have great food prepared by me. Cool. We're fine. Until Melissa drops something, you know it won't be a mukbang. Until we talk about how that sad, 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 sad specimen of a man robbed my friend. I hope he used this to like, buy diapers or milk or something. I hope it was something serious. You know, he bought a 40 and <laughs> an eighth for you. <laughs> I mean, a 40 has its uses every now and then. And until we smile at our friends, until they don't understand why. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I love, love, love y'all. I'll see y'all soon. Later. And I didn't say Team Ray. Say Team Ray. I reminded you, Team Ray. Mm. I could have not said a word. See, that was a cute prank. How that, nice that's am I? That's not me getting you back. Like, no, that, how nice am I, though? Like, really getting you back. Were those disrespectful ass questions? Oh, no. I'm still getting you back. No, no, no. No, no. Questions. No, no. I'm still getting you back. And we don't care. I'll see you guys later. For getting out. me fired. <laughs>